And if they're humans, they will hopefully still be social beings. Yeah, we should look at meat. The question is, what kind of meat? Every single time I hear the word leadership, whatever comes to mind is Isaac. Hey Isaac! Hey Isaac! <laughs> Over the years, Isaac has had a chance to shape every single generation since its conception and I'm lucky to be one of its projects and if I do so say myself, I think I'm one of its best projects among many other great stories that are out there. Yeah. So I've had a chance to serve in Isaac for about two years and it started in my local LC, that is my local chapter. And after that, I joined the GST team and it's been two years. And I had a very good experience. And this is what my local chapter, um, AKA my ISEC homeland had for me. These are the questions they had for me. And basically I'm making this video to answer those questions. So let's dive in. So the first question I had uh, was, who is Sheramogo? And wow, I think my personality or who is Sheramogo has changed over time. And I feel like it will change over time. And sometimes it's not basically a solid answer, but I'd say Sheramogo is a technophile who loves art. So the second question was one fun fact about me. And I'd say one fun fact is, I used to sing bro I used to sing <laughs> and this was in high school and I'd say um, all the way from primary to high school I used to be a singer if you tell me to say right now frogs is what you'll be hearing but um, that is a fun fact that I used to be a singer and that is why most people ask me why I actually have two guitars on my wall I don't know if you can see it but yeah I used to be a singer. My dad truly believed that I'd be a singer and that is why he made an effort of buying me a guitar. Uh, long story short, my voice decided to poof away. And um, yeah, it's not that I, I still can't make a melody, but it will be struggles over struggles and struggles. Struggles. Who knows? Maybe for a greater cause. <laughs> so third question was who shaped my Isaac journey and who are the people I can actually um, give a shout out to and these are people who I'd say in various capacities made me want to become an Isaacer even in those times where I, I thought I'd quit being an Isaac and one of them is basically my vice president uh, during my time made me understand that the people who actually love Isaac and have made Isaac their baseline. I mean, he lived for Isaac. So one outstanding thing um, that Isaac in Jaquat has really um, shaped in my life or has contributed in my life is my skill set. I mean, my editing skills, my graphic designing skills and all that are greatly attributed to Isaac despite it being something I learned by myself, it really pushed me to do more and more of the graphics of the posters and everything, especially when we had events. Advice that I'd give to the junior alumni that are still in ISEC, that are joining ISEC, that are wishing to join ISEC is, you're part of an organization that is making the world a better place. So applaud yourself and make sure to make ISEC a stepping stone to your dreams. So I'd say memorable times in Isaac in Jaquat, um, <laughs> Isaac dinners. You see these nails? Isaac made me do my first nails, like my first, you know, like acrylics and everything. Um, it was my first time in Isaac after joining Isaac and the first event was Isaac dinner. And I was like, I don't know anyone in Isaac. Um, I think the last time I wore a dress was Hey, not even in high school. In high school, I used to wear skirts. Was like, I don't know. I didn't even have a dress. Um, for me, um, 
in the ghetto i think i was in the ghetto i wasn't a lady lady type of person and this is the time where my my friend was telling me yo dinners you can't go with like a trouser no come a parara like looking like this um and she told me you have to do your nails you have to do your hair then you need to buy a dress for the dinner so they said um i think it was the theme was red carpet or something i'm not sure and i was like yo i i don't know where to start so um went and did my hair um did my nails for the first time um then i was like mm, I, i feel like i look pretty the way i am i landed i landed <laughs> at the venue and bro who had makeup on who are looking glamorous who are looking touched up who are looking like shins and I was there looking like this I went like this you see like this nothing no 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 luckily 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 god was on my side luckily uh, they did makeup at the venue uh in some room so rushed there and did my makeup so please do not to look god one out um i went home embarrassed but it still remains one of the most memorable events that are there last question is if i had 3 hours to live what would i do first i'd eat i'd eat, eat good food you know beef chicken fries rice then um i basically called my loved ones uh my my my, my mom my brother and called my cousins and called people i love my friends i'd appreciate them and tell them that i love them and then lastly i think i'd just pray and thank god cuz so far so good thank you for the lessons thank you for the time that I've been here in this world and then you know wait for my time then i poof and she's gone so many 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 thanks to my local lc isaac in jcot isaac in kenya and isaac as a whole for making me a better person and making me a youth leader and basically shaping me into one of i believe would be one of the greatest leaders the world has ever seen in whichever space that i stand in thank you sarangel bye